The family of a sentenced hotel manager missing since last Saturday is becoming more and more concerned about his safety and his well-being. Hi again and welcome. This is Links Below TV. Let's talk. And we're about to discuss this on the program after it was reported that Clyde Taylor, a 65-year-old man, he is said to be a manager from Runaway Bay in St. Anne's, Jamaica, and he has been missing from his home since last Saturday. A number of people have reached out and to date no contact has been able to be made with this individual. When we return, we'll have the exclusive details of this to come on the program. This is Lynx 7 TV and if it's the first time you're watching, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and click on all so you're always updated with our latest report. We'll be right back after this short break with the exclusive and comprehensive report to come. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Link 7 TV. Let's talk. I hope and trust that you're doing fine, keeping safe and in good health. And wherever you are watching this in the world right now, much love and much respect goes out to you. So what I want to talk about today on the program is a situation that is making rounds on social media, which depicts an individual who is said to be a hotel manager, 865, that has been missing for a number of days. However, during the publication of this report, we were reliably informed that the story has now taken a bizarre twist, and we're about to update you with that. And just to provide you with the initial report that we have initially planned in the first stage before we were updated about what transpired, and I can tell you what we have found out about this individual will leave you shocked and in total disbelief about what transpired. However, before we get into the actual details of that, whenever someone goes missing, you still have to have that level of hope within your mind. You still have to have that level of understanding about what took place. And you still have to keep it in the back of your head that what transpired might could have been avoided. However, one cannot say what transpired in this situation and the family right now is left puzzled and in a state of shock and disbelief of the events that unfolded that led to this individual being missing. When someone goes missing, you have to fear for the worst, but still expect them to return home. And we have seen a number of situations over and over, and we have done a number of reports on situations similar to this. And most of the time, if I can recall correctly, it doesn't end in the way that we would want it to. So now I'm about to update you with the latest we have in relation to this very chilling story right now. And this individual so far has been identified as Clyde Taylor. And he's said to be a 65-year-old hotel manager. And he's from Runaway Bay in St. Anne's, Jamaica. And he has been reported missing from his home since last Saturday. So it would have been a week now because it's last Saturday and now this report is being put out by me this Saturday. So it has been a week now. So Taylor is the brother of Jamaica Hotel and Tourist Association Chairman and St. Anne's Chamber of Commerce President, Vanna Taylor. So this family is an upscale family, I must say, if one might put it like that. And the family is well known in the St. Anne's era. What might have led to this individual going missing? We're about to uncover and unroot some real chilling information in this report. So they both work at a family company that manages several related tourism properties in St. Anne's. And according to family members, Mr. Kai Taylor was last seen leaving his house just as he was going out around 9 o'clock on that fateful day. He was later spotted in St. Anne's Bay shortly after, and then he was spotted much later in the Ochoa's era, a family member told reporters. 
So calls to Mr. Taylor sent phone up to Tuesday morning went to voicemail and his 2013 grey Nissan Note motor car which he left home with has still not been located. Mr. Taylor is said to be a family man and would have not gone out for days without not informing family members. So this triggered many red flags around the situation and the family members believe that something unfortunate might have happened to this individual. What triggered the red flag was that Mr. Taylor had a catering to do and he had all the information on his phone. The plan was for him to come and take the clients to the place in St. Anne's to do the cooking there. When he did not show up and these people keep on calling his phone without an answer, the family member became worried and a search was launched. But up to date, there has still been no word on the whereabouts of Mr. Taylor. So after the 24-hour period had passed and Mr. Clyde Taylor did not return home, his family members became very worried and concerned about the safety of his well-being based on the fact of the numerous engagement that he had previously initiated with clients and calls to his cell phone still went to voicemail. A search was launched for Mr. Taylor. And this is where the story is about to take a bizarre twist and the family member's worst fear become a reality as Mr. Taylor was actually found. And the state that Mr. Taylor was found in was not of what the family members expected to have heard by members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. I can tell you right now that the family is in total shock and in disbelief about what transpired to Mr. Clyde Taylor, the sentence hotel manager. We're about now to update you with the latest that we have in relation to this story. So during the exclusive publication of this report, we were reliably informed by a source that the body of Mr. Taylor was located inside his Nissan Note motor car. And we're about now to provide you with the exclusive details of that information. So as the family members had became more and more concerned about the safety and well-being of Mr. Clyde Taylor, the police have confirmed that the body of the missing hotel manager was found in St. Anne's on Thursday of this week. The 65-year-old has been missing since Saturday, February 26, 2022. Head of the Constabulary's Corporate Communication Unit, SSP Stephanie Lindsay, told reporters about the incident and provided us with an update in relation to the case, which we're about to share with you. So let's go over now to Ms. Stephanie Lindsay. So, um, based on what I talked to the commander, they are confirming that, yes, his body was found and the suspect told me, so they are currently at the scene along with the scene of crime. That was SSP Stephanie Lindsay, head of the Corporate Communications Unit, providing us with an update in relation to the discovery of Mr. Clyde Taylor. Continuing with the report. So the body of the missing hotel manager, Mr. Clyde Taylor, was discovered in the trunk of his 2013 Nissan Note motor car in a place known as Top Hill near Runaway Bay in St. Anne's on Thursday night. The body had several chop wounds to the upper torso, including the head. It has also been reported that one man considered a prime suspect into the taking out of the hotel manager was picked up prior to the discovery of the body and will face a question and answer segment according to a police source. According to Deputy Superintendent of Police, Mr. Dwight Powell, since the missing person report was filed, the police did a lot of responses to the matter, and this is how the prime suspect was picked up. The police stated that they are in the process of looking for another two persons of interest who they believe can assist them in the investigation. The body of Mr. Clyde Taylor was found in an advanced state of decomposition, and it was removed to the mark pending postmortem examination while his car was brought to a police station for safekeeping. The 65-year-old hotel manager had been reported missing since last Saturday after he left home to take care of business matters. The police have still not yet established a concrete motive for this latest taking out. However, the investigation is still at its early stage 
and as the family members try to put the missing pieces of the puzzle together, they are left in total shock and in disbelief about what unfolded last week into this week, as they themselves, they can't believe what really happened. This is where I believe I'm going to leave this report though. Thanks for watching and we are at Links of Blows MTV. Just want to take this opportunity to express our sincere condolences to the family and friends. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed and productive day from Links of Blows MTV.